Hi, my name is Janie Plant. I'm originally from Seabeck, Washington, and I'm a song crafter. for a long time and now I live in San Diego area and I love to do music. I love to play songs, I love to write songs, I love to share music with everybody. My husband's job brought us from Minneapolis to San Diego. I'm really happy that that happened because I was already in a groove playing and singing quite often at different venues in the Minneapolis area. I always wondered what California life would be like, and I wondered what the music scene was like here. And it's been growing pains for me because it's different, but it's challenging, and it was time for me to do something fresh, so I'm really happy to be here. I think in moving to California, I had no idea that it was actually going to be so wonderful to be outside every day. I, I go outside every single day. I'm out there, I don't care if it's raining, if it, which is rare, um, if it's sunny, whatever it is, I just love to be able to be outside. And when I, when I pick up my guitar and I sit out on the bench or I go out, out in the back and sit by the, the pool, and I get very inspired by um, just being able to be out, even if it's under the stars in the evening. It's inspiring to me. I take situations in my life or situations that I observe in other people's lives and I draft them into a poem or a po sort of a form of poetry, so I consider that artistry. And then I'm a musician, so I can either use using guitar, piano, and vocals can bring that to life in music. And so it's more than just writing a song, more than just singing a song. And one of my favorite discoveries in the town of Santee was one day when I was going to the library, and I saw a sign on the door that said, Coffee Meister coming soon, and I thought, hey, there is a music venue waiting to happen and I want to be part of what's happening in my town. Not going all the way downtown San Diego or, or out in one of the other suburbs. I want to be in East County. So I'm really thrilled about that. I've had a very uh, unique encounter with someone recently. An older gentleman who I was singing for in an environment, in a, a gig I was hired to do. And as we were talking, I was talking about my originals, and he was asking questions and finally said to me, well, what is your real dream? What, what is it that you really want from uh, whatever this gift is that God's given you in music? What, what, what would really float your boat? And he said, well, I like people, and absolutely, first thing out of my mouth, I like people to feel better after they've encountered me and my music than they did when they walked in the room. And that absolutely makes me thrilled and he said that was a little altruistic and there must be more to it than that there must be something deeper and then i began to explain that i would want for people the masses to hear some of my original music and then he looked me straight in the eye and said when did you give up on that dream so i um I thought about that for a minute and I said, curiously, my CD that I did uh, produce a number of years ago, the title is Don't Give Up. How curious is that? And this gentleman I've never met before. And so I began to think about what are the steps I need to take. And the very first decision I made is to go through all of my writing and look at everything with fresh eyes. I've been writing for decades. I have a stack, stack of finished songs that I've crafted for special occasions, that with a tweak or two can become public I, and, and, and reach many people, not just that one wedding or that one retirement or that one baby's birth or that one sad loss and burial of, a, of someone. Um, so I have, I have these opportunities right in front of me that have been lying dormant and it's time to dig them up, get going.